So this is my beginning of Jewel Thieves. This is a stranded iron toroid found with a lot of turns. This finally does work, but you have to give it a lot of current to get a good uh, flow out of it. This was my second or third attempt. This is my other one. So th this is my second attempt. It's approximately the same thickness as this and had the same windings on it, but it was a smaller ring, and they were about the same. The, then I did this one. It's a little thicker on the outside. It's like double the thickness of the strands. Same coil. Added a pickup coil to see how that, that worked. This one has a pickup coil on it. It's blue, and uh, you can't really see it. The... Next one, added more iron, thicker, added a longer winding that was the same kind of length as this, and the same length wire winding. There, um, this didn't work in it, well this one worked a little better. And then I went back to and tested this one and this one worked the best, it had the sharpest pulses for the least amount of work, the rest were kind of iffy. Then, somebody gave me a toroid, and this is about one inch, and a little over an inch, but it's about the same size as what I was playing with, and it wound less wire, and this one worked excellent. It kicked everything else's ass. I found some toroids. These are lifesavers. Uh, not really. They're almost an inch. These are like two and a half inches. I found all these at Newark. Got some, got some new toys to play with. Wound another coil. Uh, started with the original approximate length of wire. That one was pretty good. Added a second one that has a shorter half, which goes to the base. So that's the control wire. It also works differently and better and different if the short is collected to the collector, connected to the collector. Then I have some other coils that could either be Jewel Thief drivers or our pickup coils. My upgraded 2N2222, which gives me a much sharper pulse. This is a 122 ohm resistor. Uh, 4.7K just really kills the, the sharpness of the signal. These are 32 LEDs on a side, so it's 64 LEDs in a row. And if I give it some power. So, as I was saying, these are wireless pickup coils right now. They're both of them in series, tied like a jewel thief, so they're just two bi filler overlap series. These two yellow leads run over to one side. These other, other side is about the same number of windings. Um, this one's more, and these white leads go over and power this side, and I give it some voltage, so you can see that's 1.0, 0 0.9 amps. I can drive it here. Let me. So this is when they first come on. Mm, right about there. I can see them. You can see them. They go bright. They're on now. And this is 0 0.6 and 0 0.02. 0 0.02 amps. 0.6 volts. And this is a scope shot. And this is divided by 10, 2 volts. These are the pickup coils. I, got, I like this ring. I'm going to have to harvest that with some diodes. So my power was coming in on these two scope probes. And I can run it on a AA battery because I got up to 1.5 volts. And I just swap that out, and now that's powering these LEDs very brightly, very nicely. And these are tied together, um, so both coils are kind of wound also in series, but on this side of the board. If I if I disconnect this, one side goes out, and if I disconnect that side, the other side comes on. So then I get some blinkers. There's like a priority to the coils. What the hell? So I do that and attach the other side to the other side. 
and then when I let go, they're kind of balanced. Something's wrong. It's not in right. Okay, now they're back to being balanced.